They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Anyway, welcome back to Half-Life Source. This is Weunio. We're going to continue on with Blast Pit. Hell yeah. So, uh, okay, that is a little bit loud there, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to be turning that down a little bit. Okay, let's continue on. Let's get rid of this sucker. Okay, I kind of thought the floor was going to blow up or something, so can't blame me. So yeah, that's the, uh, so this guy reacts to noises, and that's why they give you infinite grenades back here, or at least some. Yeah, as you can see, the thing follows s noises. And we'll attack where noises happen or are present. So what you're going to want to do is throw grenades and run. Or at least that's what I mostly do. Shoot. Okay, he barely <laughs> like scratched me right there. Anyways, let's continue on. Shall we? So we're now leaving Silo D. And we are going to follow the w water and fuel pipes. Hopefully we can find a way to turn these damn things on. Fuel room and it's locked. Great. Perfect. Just what I need bamboozled. Whoa, talk about bamboozled. Anyways, let's get out of here. Oh man, head down to the sewers. That's all gunky down here, but the water's real pretty. You know, that's how most sewers are. You get down there and it's just like, ah, relaxation. Okay. Took care of his ass. <laughs> Anyways. Stop saying that, dude. Like, come on. Okay. They're like, welcome to the potty. And I'm like, hell yeah. So this is a gigantic fan room. As you've probably noticed. And this is how we turn on the, uh, the oxygen. Oh wait, yeah, I was about to say, you're supposed to run up now. Anyways, so what this giant fan does once it's turned on is it supplies oxygen to the uh, thing. Now we just need to turn on the oxygen, as in like, actually turn on the valve switch. <laughs> Anyways, throw a grenade in there, and it'll fly straight up. Boom! And you jump up there too. Whoa, okay. There we go. Well, damn it, now we're just stuck in the ceiling again, so it's like, <laughs> come on, man. Why all the support beams? Why all the head crabs? Head crabs need to, like, learn to not love the, uh, hey, buddy. You know what, just fuck whatever I was saying. Let's turn on the oxygen. Let's turn on the fuel. Bada boom! Now they're both on. So, now what else do we need? Well, we still need the power, so... We gotta go do that. And the power... We're gonna go back into silo D... And we are going to go to the, well, instead of, you know how we uh, just went to the next landing in here? Well, this time we're just going to go straight to the bottom. Except that's going to be slightly more challenging. I guess you could, like, crouch when trying to deal with this guy. 
and that would make this a lot easier. You could probably sneak by him that way, but I'm not sure, I don't know. Nothing back there, so we gotta jump across this thing. We made it. Okay, that's where the floor breaks. That's what I thought. Bam, bam. Got both of them. Those were my buddies, man. You killed them. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god. You say that one more time, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's not gonna work. I didn't think that would actually kill all of them. Anyways, here's a power room. Or at least the elevator shaft that leads to the power room. Waiting for all the damn lights to turn on. It's the world's slowest elevator. Anyways, let's get on this thing and go. So, uh, you're gonna wanna crouch over here because of that. You're gonna wanna jump like. Now! <sighs> okay. So, yeah, if you stay on that, well, <laughs> you're gonna be neck deep in radiation. We're like ass to. Head hair. I hope no one expects me to start up the generator. Smithers went down there and never came back. Well, fuck. We gotta go find Smithers now. Damn it, Smithers. Neglecting your duties. Hey, we're in silo DO2. Let's ride this little damn thing over here. These things will, like, cut off your legs if you're not careful. Well, not really cut off your legs. They'll just kick your ass. Here we are, the power generator. So let's get on this thing. This is my hiding spot, and I'm not moving until the situation is drastically improved. Now go away and don't tell anyone I'm here. All right, man. Whatever you say. Let's turn on the other side and boom. Okay, did not mean to do that. Now the whole thing has power, or at least it should. Oh yeah, and that guy's uh probably dead now. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't want this. I didn't want this. I didn't want this. I didn't want this. Okay. Um I will meet you back when, right where we were, okay? So, hold on one moment. Alright, welcome back. Um, we turned on the power, and now we are climbing back up this thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this time I didn't actually take the elevator. I just ignored it. If you did, the first time you just get down this way. Yeah, you take a little bit of damage, but that's why this thing's here. So grab us some FedEx, and then we go on our way. Now we got electricity, so all that water's all... You know what I mean by... Aha. Propane lab. <laughs> I didn't kill that guy either. I just let him stand there for the rest of eternity. And hey, I realize that you can walk just by this guy by... Okay. Okay. Okay, and I am back. Um, yeah. Guy just pretty much kicked my ass because... Well, he's a jerk. What can I say? So you can distract him and then you can go. 
But if you don't distract him first, well, he's gonna create problems for you. What the hell, man? Okay, and we are back. Oh! Boy, cookies. Damn guy blocked my grenade. I'm barely like making this. We're making history. Okay, that didn't work out as planned. Okay, run, run! And we made it, oh my god. <laughs> Guy's still mumbling to himself. Anyways, we did it. So, let's fire this damn thing and get rid of this asshole. Aw, yeah. Stand back! Yeah, if you stand like right up next to that thing, it'll definitely kill you. Anyways, we did it. We actually got rid of that thing. So, how do we get out of here now? Oh yeah, that's another thing. The rocket um, blows up these and kills that guy. As you can see, that's all, all that's left of him is that blood splatter in the gun. So, Unfortunately, there will be risks here at Black Mesa, but we uh, push on without those, who, uh, without those who gave their lives. Anyways, you climb down this asshole's hole. <laughs> Basically, you could climb down his asshole. So here we go. Okay, there's his head. Um, yeah. Now we're like underground. Maybe we'll find some diamonds. A oh, sweet revolver. Anyways, next time on Half Life Source, we will discover what lies, well, in store for us. In the, in, the, in the next part, uh, yeah. This has been We and You. Thank you for watching.